this video we're going to walk through a way to fix six fall replication issues um, on this on these uh, on this domain we have two domain controllers one of the domain we set policies and one of the domain controllers which is not being replicated to the syst sys volume uh, on the secondary domain controller um, you go into your DFS replication management and run a create diagnostics report Just go through all the uh, defaults. And you can see in here your warning and errors that you have on your DFS replication. And if you see this error here, backlog calculations cannot be performed because the reference number or reference member returned zero replicated folders. How we're going to fix that is we're going to go into ADSI edit. So open up your ADSI edit. Find your domain controllers on this domain. We have two. We want to find the domain controller that does have the up-to-date um, information that we already, you know, we know this, this one. We basically simply just went to the sysvol folder, uh, which is Windows sysvol, sysvol your domain policies. This policy was put in place on this date. Uh, we checked on the, the secondary server. That policy is not being replicated, so it's it's out of date. They're not up to date. So we know that this uh, particular domain controller is the correct uh, up-to-date domain controller with the policy we need. So back in ADSI edit, we're going to go to that domain controller. We're going to browse down to sysvol subscription. Then you're going to scroll down to msdfsr enabled, yeah, but we're going to change that to false. Then you're going to go over here to dfsr options. Uh, by default, it's zero. You're going to change this to one. Apply those settings. I'm going to go back over here to our secondary domain controller, the one that does not have the up-to-date information. Go to that same location, and we're going to set this to false as well. And you can leave the DFSR options uh, not set and apply that. Now we're going to go over to PowerShell and run as administrator. What we're going to do here is type in rep admin. Space forward slash sync all space forward slash A D E P. Now what we want to do is stop the DFS service. So we're going to do stop service DFSR. I'm going to do a enter dash PS session to the secondary server. So do a PS session to your secondary domain controller. We're going to stop the DFS service on this daemon controller. I'm going to go ahead and exit. And we're back on our primary domain controller. I'm going to go ahead and start the service back up on this domain controller. Alright, now we want to go back to ADSI, go back to our primary domain controller, to the same section. We want it to DFSR enable, we want to change it back to true. 
I'm gonna run I'm gonna force replication again. You run replication, we're gonna run a DFSR diag space pull add. Go back over to your Go back to Event Viewer. You're going to see a 4602. This DFS replicated service successfully successfully initialized the replicated folder at this path. Over to our secondary, do a PS session to our secondary AD server. You're going to want to do this on any secondary or you know any other uh, domain controller you have. Um, if you have three or four, you're going to want to do this on uh, all three or four. And we're going to start. Go ahead and start the DFS service. So start dash service DFSR. Then we're going to go back to ADSI edit. We're going to go to that secondary domain controller and any other domain controllers that you have. Go to the Sysvol subscription. Scroll down to DFSR enabled and we're going to re-enable this. You want to come back over to the command line and make sure you're still on your secondary domain controller. We're going to type in DFSR diag pull add. And that is it. And go exit from here. From here, you're just going to want to let it do its replication, wait to, you know, things replicate between the servers. If you come back over to your DFS management, run a create a uh, diagnostic report as you can see here we have zero warnings and zero errors which would indicate that DFS replication is now working between the domain controllers